what you believe about yourself at your core, deep in your, deep in your soul is what you're going to receive. I mean, we always hear about limiting beliefs and I'm not sure people understand how powerful these beliefs are because you can have beliefs that completely and totally support you that, you know, you walk into a meeting and you're like, I own this room. Or as a topic you're really good at, you're like, I am so good at the topic of knitting, or I'm so good at the topic of, pers of personal transformation that you, you beam in confidence. But if you don't have that belief, then you kind of step back and you, you, um, you kind of hide. It's like, you know, to really be able to gauge some of these beliefs, because I can talk to people and tell how they believe just by their self-talk, just what they say. But you can also see, if you ever watch a football game, and I don't care, um, you know, usually in championship games, but you'll see it in regular games too, where the underdog is playing the big guy. You know, we can say um, the Cardinals playing the Patriots. And the Cardinals go, go up 14 points in the first quarter, second quarter, and they are celebrating on the sidelines with like there's no tomorrow. It is the greatest thing ever. But they end up losing the game by 21 because in their mind, they only believed if they were winning if they could get up, get up on them, not if they could beat them. And that's a limiting belief. Limiting beliefs are, are how you kind of keep yourself held in place, kind of keep in check. But the best thing you could do with your limiting beliefs is to turn them into sizzling affirmations. So if you know if you have an limiting belief that it doesn't matter what you eat, you will gain weight. It could be everything I eat turns to energy and I burn it instantly. Or you may have the belief that you're never going to be able to make any money because you just don't have the education that you think you need or the personality or the gifts or whatever. You could turn it into I make money easily and effortlessly living in my passion. Because when you take these beliefs and begin to turn them into a positive and reframe how you look at them, you'll see your whole life change because you're taking a negative and turning it into a positive. And that's really, I mean, have you met those people that are just always positive? Doesn't matter when you see them, night and day, they're always uplifted and happy because they've learned how to own their mind. They've learned how to have affirmations that, that support them that help continue to propel them forward. They don't spend time, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, I, you know, I made a mistake. If they make a mistake, they own it and move on. You know, how many times have you done a live video or, you know, I've done a video and I'll, I'll think, you know, I stumbled or I said something I shouldn't have. The old Karen would have agonized over it for days. You know, if I went into a meeting and I didn't feel like I presented myself well, or I didn't get my point across, I would spend days weeks beating myself up over it. But I've learned now to just shrug it off and say, you did the best you could. Now you know next time, you know, breathe before you do this or center yourself before you get on a Zoom call, you know, because Zoom changes the atmosphere. Because when you went into a meeting, you had to drive your car, you get out of your car, walk across the street, go up the steps, whatever to get to the meeting. You had time to process the meeting. I go on Wednesdays, I go from a 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, to 12 o'clock, to a two o'clock, to a three o'clock Zoom, five Zooms. You don't have time to process. So you kind of have to learn how to center yourself and have positive affirmations as beliefs. You know, I'll present myself in a positive light. I will breathe and make sure that I think through what I say. I will have notes, whatever beliefs you need to set up. So you know that you are worthy when you speak. You know that what you say is going to be conveyed properly and, and succinctly, or you know, if it's that kind of meeting. If you don't do that, then you're gonna constantly be stuck in this place where you have the belief that doesn't support you. And I can pick somebody out that doesn't have a supporting belief, but because they're still in the same spot. And if you need help getting your beliefs, check out my, it's my um, Valentine's Day month of self-love giveaway where I have my, um, Becoming Your Most Powerful Self, normally $97 on sale for 50% off, is over my website, karenbarno.com. Check it out, it's for $47 right now, it's a special, and if you decide you wanna coach with me, then that $47 gets deducted from the coaching. But this is, there's no better time than now to do the work. Because in 2020, we let all this stuff per percolate and bubble up. 
but we kept trying to push it down and it would bubble up and push it down. And so now it's laying there. And a lot of us, a lot of you don't know what to do with it because you've never done belief work. You've never done healing work. And energy healing is draining. That's why it's called energy healing because it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of effort to heal yourself. And as an energy healer, I can help you, but you have to take the time to do the work. You have to be able to sit down and say, okay, what is my core belief about X, Y, Z? Because we have all kinds of beliefs. You know, what do you believe about sports? What do you believe about life? What do you believe about your husband? What do you believe about work? You know, what do you believe about certain people? All of that depends on your worldview, on your inner because you, you won't get any further, and I don't want to be negative, but this is truth, you won't get any further than your belief. If you don't believe you can never make six figures, you're never gonna make six figures. If you don't believe you can ever make more than 120,000, you're never gonna make more than 120,000. I mean, that's how it works. I know people that, you know, to them, if, if, they, if they could make 80,000 a year, they'd be so happy. And they will get right to that door. They'll make 79, 80, but they just can't get past it. Because in their belief, 80,000 is the end all be all. 80,000 is that goal. It's the belief that that's, that's, woo. You just have to change your belief. You just have to have a belief now that says, I make six figures easily and effortlessly. I effortlessly. I make, you know, 300,000 easily and effortlessly and believe it. Because your brain's a computer. What you put into it, it will believe. So take the time to look at your beliefs at your core. Take your time to take your limiting beliefs and turn them into sizzling affirmations. Because remember, any type of trauma remains in your tissue. Your trauma's in your tissue. You gotta heal that. And once you start healing that, once you go on the path of looking at your beliefs, looking at everything about your life that possibly isn't jamming out, then you will go to levels that you never thought were possible, but you could dream it. Your imagination is just your dreams. Your imagination is telling you that you can make that come true. Because if you can't imagine it, you can't be it. I mean, how many times have you said, have you ever imagined to a friend and they'll look at you and say, no, never. Why would I ever imagine whatever it was? Why would I ever imagine being a CEO of a huge corporation where you know my salary is 15 million? But how many other people are sitting out there going, man, I can see me making 15 million a year at a corporation. Your imagination is the key to unlock your door and then you have to have your beliefs marry up to your imagination. You gotta marry them together. So I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're on my YouTube, give me a subscribe. If you're looking to start transforming your life, please check out my website. My mission in 2021 is to, is to help the world heal. We've gone through a traumatic 2020. Any trauma you have has been brought up even more so. I just really want to help. That's why I've reintroduced my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I had, you know, put it aside a couple years ago. That's why it's back. My online course is just kind of like a, a, um, a good starting point to see what areas you, you might need a little bit of energy healing on. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. Here's to you finding your blue rose and igniting your possibilities. Bye, guys.